Hi, my name's Eric, and I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of our bunkhouse remodel. Started by removing the top layer of plywood that was on top of the top bunk. Next, I was manually removing screws, which I quickly abandoned. I am now cutting the leads that led to the light on the top bunk, so this way I can move the light over to what becomes my side of the office. Wrapped the leads in electrical tape because I don't want to deal with a spark. Those were relatively tough screws to remove. I used a chisel and a mallet in order to get in between the layer of plywood and the base stud that was holding everything together. Destruction! Now it's mostly just a montage of me struggling to rip out what's actually in place still. That wound up being a bigger problem than intended. And I had to replace the wall. Soldering on the extension wire so I can run the light over to my side of the office. Ignore my poor judgment to solder midair. I ran out of spray foam insulation. I thought I bought enough. Did not, so I ended up using half spray foam, half fiberglass. Not super ideal, but what are you going to do? I wound up reinforcing the floors, adding a litter box into half of the underground storage bin, and I left a flap so we could still access it from the inside. Failed desk attempt number one. Time for a picture montage. Now that the main portion to hold the desks up is in place, we decided to paint and add carpet. At this point it's mostly finished, it's just fine tuning my side of the office since I need to record audio. This is not the desk in its final form, that monitor had to go. I made ceiling fans out of an XLR cable, a fan that my cat chewed on, and yeah, works pretty well as a ceiling fan. Added a dual layer sound curtain that I hand sewed together with some insulation in between. Testing time. And that's it. Bunkhouse to office. Simple enough. Only took me three and a half minutes. See you next week.